Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to start your own server. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a simple Minecraft server and add a few plugins to spice it up. So let's begin. So first of all, you're gonna need a Minecraft server jar software, not sure what it is called, but you get the image of what I'm saying. So for this example, we will be using paper MC, link will be down in the description. And to simply start, you click Downloads and you click on Paper. And then you just click Paper, Download, and it's that. For our example, we are gonna save it on Desktop for simple access. And yeah, that's that. You downloaded the server file. So let's move to the next step. Well, to the next step to start your server. Next step is pretty simple. So first of all, we will create a folder called, for example, I don't know, my server. And yeah, create folder and drop your jar or paper jar that you downloaded. And the second step is, as you can see, you have jar, you need to have uh, Java, Java, or I don't know how to pronounce it in English for this to work. But the second step what you need to do is create the start bed file. I'm gonna show you first how to create it. It's pretty simple. So let me just show you what is inside. So as you can see, this is what you need to type inside. And of course, you replace paper jar with the version of your jar file. So for example, like this, and of course, dot jar, and save it. But to create it, you just need to create a new notepad file. Let me just simply show you. So we're gonna copy this and create it on desktop so it doesn't overwrite this. So new text document, and let's say we're gonna start it, like name it start, okay. And what do we need to do now? Oh, Windows 10 opening multiple files. Okay, okay, interesting. So we copy our code over here, and as you can see, it's the exactly the same and we do file save as and then you go all files and start dot bht or bat i don't know how to pronounce it in english but you can see on the video and you just click save and that will create as you can see this executable file that will start your server so let me just close this and this and well let me just check Double check, okay, everything seems to be correct here. And the next thing you do is just double click on the start uh, bad file that you created. And as you can see, it will download some things from Mojang to, well, for server to run. Now, well, there's a bit of download, but for example, what you need to do after, well, it takes a while. So I'll meet you up. Oh, Okay, never mind. I'll meet you up in a second. Okay, failed to load a EULA. That's all correct. So the second step you need to do is locate the EULA file, open it, and I don't know why is Windows 11 opening double files, but we don't we don't focus on that. So you open the EULA file and you locate this line, and you set it to true. Now, what this does is, as you can see, by changing the settings below to true, you are indicating your agreement to our EULA. So basically, Minecraft terms of service for server usage, blah, blah, blah. Basically, some tech talk, which you don't need, but need to agree to if you're starting a server. But if you're hosting a server for just, I don't know, few of your friends, it really doesn't apply to you. And you just save it and start the server again again we are the bat and now we will see that the as you can see it opens up console it opens up a lot of stuff on here and yeah you just let it load and i think that's that yeah i think it's loaded up so how do you join your server you might be asking well it's pretty simple you open up your game of course that's absolutely branded and click add server and type localhost. Now localhost means that you are connecting to your machine. And this also means that your friends or 
or that matter anyone can't join your server well not yet after yeah but let me see so as you can see a minecraft server and if you join up it will create the world and voila we are on our server in savannah biome and you might be wondering oh i can't do i don't know game mode i don't know creative or something well what you need to do next is locate your console or gui console and type op and your name that will give you operator access and basically access to basic server commands as for example i want to change i don't know game mode to creative and voila i don't want someone to be on here i can just ban them like <laughs> yeah for example like that i ban myself which is not a smart idea but if you're a server owner you can i don't know prank your friends that you got banned by console or something because you can just unban yourself from the console but anyways that's that yeah that's basically how you start your simple minecraft server so for people to be able to join you need to port forward your ip or your router or you need to use a server hosting service which if you're going a server hosting route this whole tutorial is useless for you because basically servers usually you know have all this set up for you already and it's basically one click setup well way more easier but this isn't hard too and i'll leave the link down to some reputable tutorial on how to port forward your server so if you decide this is what you want well to be able to let your friends whoever join your server on your pc and yeah and the next step i'll show you few plugins that i recommend every server to have and i'll show you how to install them because it's pretty simple and i'll explain what each plugin does and why i personally use them on every single one of my servers and why i recommend them so yeah let me just go to plugins page and see you guys in a moment so the plugins i recommend well i recommend five well six plugins but uh, I bundled two plugins in together. So Essentials X, as you can see, is basically your basic server commands. So if you ever type like spawn, if you ever type TPA, if you ever type set home, this is the plugin that like 99.9% .9 servers use. Apart if you just don't want separate commands and then you get like, you know, separate plugin commands, which we don't want in this case. So once I would recommend is Essentials X, well, recommended add ons, Essentials X Chat, which is basically a chat managing plugin if you want to spice up your chat a bit. For example, create prefix for ranks and stuff like that. And Essential X Spawn, which will handle the user spawning, which also links up in the plugin we have up there, Luck Perms, but we will get to that. Then the next plugin is Grief Prevention. What it does, it's basically what what it says, it's a grief prevention plugin uh, that is that can be used both by players and admins. But I'll get to the protection plugin for admins later on. But again, this can be used both for players and admins, and it's pretty straightforward for you. So all you need to do is set point A and set point B, and that's that. That's land protected, so nothing too complicated anyone can learn it plus it also comes with a tutorial inside of plugins each time a player picks up a climb tool core protect basically a good anti-grief plugin that locks all data on all actions player do allows for easy rollbacks and much more well basically a must have for any server that does not allow ruining other work and griefing and it's pretty useful there is not much to explain to it i'll leave all the plugins links down below so you can read more in depth like on your own but yeah luck perms is a plugin for managing your ranks or well permissions and it's best if not one of the like only best plugins for managing uh managing permissions because it's pretty easy for server to handle it's easy to learn and it has a web gui which i don't know if i can show you or i can 
yeah, view demo. So for example, let's say you want to edit admin uh, rank. As you can see, you can do all basically from the web editor. And then you can just paste it or apply it with one click to your server. So it's pretty easy to understand. But if you want to read more on it, there is a whole wiki on every single thing that you can do with it. And it's pretty well, it gets pretty complicated if you let it overwhelm you. And the last, well, one or two plugins, which I usually bundle together, are World Edit and World Guard. Now, World Edit is amazing plugin for, um, well, editing huge areas on your server. For example, you want to build something huge quickly and want to prepare the area. You can just set point 0.1, point 0.2 and type set set 0 and it will set the air. Or if you learn more in depth, it can set a lot of, well, it can do a lot of stuff that you just can't do in vanilla Minecraft. And the World Guard plugin is a good plugin. It's not a, play for, it's not a replacement for grief prevention, but I recommend it for securing things like spawn, player shops, for example, I don't know, warps, props, yeah, everything that a normal player shouldn't be able to access and shouldn't have like a region expiry. So yeah, as you can see, each one of the tutorials have videos in them, so you can learn, or they have Wikipedia, so you can learn how to use them and see what they can do. Well, there's a video unavailable here, but you can watch it on YouTube, classic, but yeah. I think that would be that, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, hold on, not thank you guys, I forgot one step, I forgot to show you how to install plugins, so let's begin on that, it's pretty simple step. So yeah, before we end the video, let me show you how to install plugins. So for this example, we will be using Essentials plugin, and first of all, you need to stop your server. Now you can stop your server, but if you have players building on your server and doing stuff, I would recommend doing save all command. So it saves the world and then you can do stop, whoops, stop to stop the server. So before you quit the server, it is always recommended for you to save all. That way you are securing yourself, I can say around 99.9% .9 of any crashes, of any corrupt things and things going bad. So how do you install plugin you might be asking? Well, you go to your server folder, you click on a plugins folder, you drag and drop your plugin into plugins folder and you just start your server again. And that's that. There's not much complicated to do than that. And as you can see, a Minecraft server, oh, you are banned. Okay, let me unban myself. Hold on. So let me just unban. Funny stuff, as you can see, when you forget things you do. Of course, we unbanned myself. And now, when you join, as you can see, you have no new mail, set fly mode enabled. And suddenly, we can do GM1 or GM, uh, for example, 3, which is spectator mode, or 0, which is survival mode. Or if I'm not wrong, uh, 4 is adventure. No. Uh, I think 3 is adventure. No. 2 is adventure. Yeah to this adventure mode. But basically you can do help and as you can see you get all the commands that Essential Plugins brings to you. And if you want to edit any files of the plugins, you just go to Plugins folder and the plugin now generated the folder for itself. And as you can see you can customize nearly 99% things of the plugin. Though I recommend that if you are doing this, always, always first do a backup of your files that you're editing. Why? Because if you mess up, you have easy recovery point. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people edit files and then they go like, oh, this doesn't work or, or something is broken. And I'm like, what can I do to you? You didn't listen to my advice. You didn't backup your folders, files, whatever. And now you don't have backup to, you know, Pull back on if something goes wrong. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, 
thank you guys for watching i hope this video served you well i hope you started your server all the links will be down in description leave a like share subscribe do what you do best and i guess see you guys in the next video tutorial whatever life brings us goodbye and have a nice day